Hi everybody, I'm coming to you today with a special project that is a product matchup between Canvas Corp brands and Stencil Girl products. Um, I am working with a Seven Gypsies canvas journal cover that's eight and a half by eleven and as you see I've got it open here and I am taping off a border on the top and the bottom that's about an inch and a half all the way across. I didn't trust myself to be able to keep the border fairly straight without taping it off. <laughs> so that's why I marked it and put some masking tape across there. Then I am going to take some lobster glimmer mist and this um, stencil that is called fish scales brick and I'm going to stencil through that with a sponge. I decided to sponge it instead of spray it because I wanted to control more where it went. Um, now I did overwork it a little bit and had a little bit of bleed through, but it turned out all right. I think it turned out okay. I do really like this stencil it, instead of being just a standard brick pattern like you would see with straight rows this has the nice arching curves to it and I was able to match it up pretty well as I moved across the um, width of the journal so that I tried to um, keep the integrity of the pattern somewhat I didn't do too great uh, but you know that's okay it's just paint or in this case ink and uh, canvas and just as an FYI this does bleed through to the other side where I am heavy-handed with the ink itself but again no one's really going to see that so it doesn't really matter so now I have flipped this around and I'm going to do the same exact process across the other edge here And once I get all the way across there and have the tape removed and everything, I am going to hit this with the heat gun a little bit just to try to get it dry. Since this is such an intense color, I don't want it going anywhere too much. And it did a pretty good job not bleeding under that tape. All right, here I have a piece of the red and ivory toile paper. And I have an assortment of um, scallop circle punches here that I'm going to punch these out. And I'm going to turn these into flowers. Uh, I had an idea originally to do kind of a bouquet coming up out of the bottom of this um, and instead I went kind of for an abstract sort of thing you'll see um, I fussed and fussed and fussed with placement on these had all kinds of different ideas didn't really like what I was coming up with and I decided just to try to be a little bit more freeform with it when I end up with the final placement on these This is really nice heavyweight paper, um, by the way, that's, uh, it's just beautiful paper. Okay, now I have a piece of the natural burlap, and I will say I did try to punch this with a circle punch, and it just didn't work. <laughs> so that's why you kind of see me freehanding with the scissors here. These are the centers of my flowers. Um, I decided to use the burlap to give it some extra texture. Course I had little pieces of burlap everywhere. <laughs> but this is a fun way to mix and match um, products, textures, fabric, paper, you know. I decided to hit these with a little bit of gold glimmer mist just to um, yellow them up a little bit more and to hopefully give them a little bit of a shimmer and you see I'm flipping them over there and try to soak up as much as that spray as I can that's on my mat. I decided to take some archival ink. This is a really pretty color called vermilion 
and I'm just going to edge around um, the flower punch outs just to give it a little depth around that edge and I used archival ink because it's a permanent ink and once it's dry it's not going to move I didn't know exactly at this point what else I was going to do to these flowers so I wanted to make sure that I used a product um, in this ink that would stay put if I added any other things to it uh, decided to use some super heavy gloss gel to attach the burlap circles to the scallop circle paper punches just applying a well, fairly generous coat with a palette knife there and sticking them on that's all there is to it all right now this is another fun uh, stencil from stencil girl products and just FYI they don't come blue like this I've used this on another project and I just didn't clean it off really good um, this is called uh, doodle it tornado bloom I think and I'm using the wheat high impact tattered angels paint this did not work too well not not because of anything with the products or anything but because I chose too light of a color and it just really didn't show the pattern uh, of the stencil very well and I did do this on the back as well had I chosen a darker color obviously the pattern of the stencil would have showed up very well and this is a really cool stencil I really like this a lot so I thought okay I'm gonna come back in with my gold glimmer mist and see if I can't pick that pattern up a little bit more and it worked you'll see in the still shots at the end um, that you can see the pattern of the stencil so I was happy about that alright so I've been messing and messing and messing with these flowers trying to figure out what I'm gonna where I'm gonna put them I decide I like them where they're at and then I'm like okay do I want stems do I want a bouquet what do I want I thought I'm just gonna paint some leaves uh, this is the olive high impact paint just some freehand leaves around each of these flowers and as you can see I haven't attached the flowers yet so I'm just kind of eyeballing where they are based on the placement that I decided um, just doing some leaves around each of these and I didn't go for a real heavy coverage um, just you know just the impression of leaves there I didn't necessarily want them completely opaque in some places you can see the canvas texture and even in some places the stenciling texture actually comes through this paint because I didn't go real heavy-handed with the paint to a little bit smaller brush when I got down to these um, smaller flowers because I didn't want quite as chunky of leaves as what I've done to this point so I switched to a smaller round brush and again I've not added any water or any additive or anything to the paint I'm just using the paint straight from the bottle and going right on that canvas and it's taking it very well And then once these are done I'll dry them just a little bit and I'm gonna come back with my wheat colored paint and just give the impression of a vein down the middle of all of these leaves So here's the trusty glue gun I thought about using the um, gel medium to attach these but I thought no I'm just gonna use the glue gun it's quicker it'll be dry right away so I can move right on and do whatever else I want to do which turned out to be not much of anything <laughs> uh, but that's all right hopefully they'll stick down and stay put so I decided I had kind of a blank empty spot down here that needed something so I penciled in the word bloom and I'm going to paint over that with that olive high impact paint I 
this is where I probably could have used something to make the paint flow a little bit better since I was doing something more detailed but, uh, but it ended up turning out okay and you can see what it says so it's no big deal I like it when you can use the least amount of projects possible to complete a project and that way you know it helps your budget and it helps time wise too if you can just use what you've got all right so I pulled out my Posca pins I'm gonna do some little dot details on the leaves nothing fancy I very much like doodle artwork and and dots and hash marks and different things on projects so I like to add dots and things like that quite a bit and the Posca paint pens are wonderful because they will they'll work on anything then I decided to put some down um, on my word and you're gonna see my biggest oops of the project <laughs> uh, I apparently used too much pressure and I got a big blob of yellow Get ready, here it comes. Right there. And I quick grab a towel and try to blot it. Of course, it's not, the canvas absorbs it, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. So I'm like, well, okay, I have to make this look like I meant to do this. So I'm gonna blob some more and blot it up. Um, all the while making a mess over there on my mat. <laughs> Cause I have to make it look like I meant to do this. So I try to blob a whole bunch of yellow all around there. Of course, then it obscured some of the letters a little bit, so I came back over that with the green Posca pen, adding a few white dots on the flowers, and that's pretty much it. Um, you'll see the still photos at the end, and I do hope you'll come over and check out both Canvas Core products and the Stencil Girl products. Uh, I think you'll be thrilled with both of them. There's so much variety to choose from. Uh, great products great people and I think you'll enjoy it so thank you so much for coming by I really appreciate you visiting and watching today do hope you'll like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time